Stahl, and we are underway. A look at how these sides line up first for Old Dominion. They'll go with Fox, Mapa, Reeser, Mar Christensen along the back. Beckett in the middle with Mandir and Miseroli. And then up front, Schmalbach, Eberly, and Thomas. As for Georgia State, Munoz and Schroeder along the back. Jumo, Orocha, McLean, Jones, Finney, Carlson, Hilton Jones. And up front, Max Wilkins, the lone striker. As mentioned, Georgia State coming in off the win, 3-2 at Old Dominion back on November 1st. They picked up their 11th win of the season. These are two teams that are very familiar with each other. This isn't the first time they've occupied a conference together, former Colonial Athletic Association foes, now turned Sunbelt foes. Panthers come into this having scored the 18th most goals of any team in the country. This is a quick strike Panther offense as Statham will blast that one away. The 11 wins marks the sixth time in the last seven seasons the Panthers have posted a 10 win campaign. What head coach Brett Surrency in his 13th year at Georgia State has done with this program is nothing short of impressive. Monarchs able to come up with the takeaway. That's Mark Christensen. And volleys it forward and it rolls past the touchline for a Georgia State throw in. Jumo, the former Burnley FC Academy product, will toss it in. Scored 53 goals in his career for Burnley Academy. Got stuck tight on the touchline, and now a foot race on that far side. Ball over hit on the cross. The Panthers will have another throw in. Monarchs may not score a ton of goals. They've only scored 17 on the campaign, but they do have chances at a pretty solid clip. 23rd nationally in shot accuracy, which paces the Sun Belt this year. Panthers losing ground, have to dump it out of play to take the pressure off. Throw for Old Dominion in a promising spot. Miseroli sent it wide of goal. That rolls out past the end line. Rankenberg will have the goal kick. And look at it again. Tried a shot. A little wistful thinking there from Miseroli. Gunther Rankenberg, the senior out of Marietta, Georgia. Last season, the Panthers, members of the Mid-American Conference, he actually led the MAC in saves a season ago. Finishes a first team selection that year. Panthers progressing nicely up the pitch, now losing ground. There was a Rocha that had it, the fifth year senior out of Madrid, Spain. Statham will crank that ahead. Met with the head of Georgia State and taken away at least for a moment. Now the Monarchs settle on it. Much like we saw in this first match of the day between Marshall and James Madison, expect a little bit of a feeling out process between the sides, even though they just played days ago. They've had time, go back, look at the tape, tinker things, change some things tactically. Good ball, lobbed ahead. Had a chance to see Old Dominion earlier this season in person when they came here to Huntington. They ultimately beat then number four Marshall. Very impressive defensive group. 
One would have to expect that Georgia State will try to exploit the long ball to soften up the back line of Old Dominion. Lots of probing passes. A whistle comes in from Tattersall and a foul. Just tangled up there was Arocha, the USC Upstate transfer who was able to draw the foul. Now Panthers moving forward with bags of pace. They slip it to Carlson on the far side. Carlson wants the cross, can't find the angle. Now it's left back off for him. Finney joins the rush and lobs one through the middle. Good header away from the danger for Old Dominion. It was Jan Mappa, the sophomore from Germany, transfer from St. Mary's, who headed it away. Max Wilkins will toss this in for Georgia State. High arching throw, balls loose inside the penalty area. A short clearance. Panthers want the cross, they send it over to that far side of the box, no one there, and it'll roll past the end line for a goal kick for Michael Statham. Statham, former Nottingham Forest product, made three appearances in goal with their U21 side during the 2018-2019 FA Youth Cup. He's no stranger to big moments had a career high eight saves earlier this year against number 20, Campbell, back when the Camels were inside the top 25. Lisa Roli, the graduate senior from Italy, able to settle on it for Old Dominion, and they'll win the possession back. Mentioned it in our broadcast open. At one point, Old Dominion were playing for the right to move into a tie atop the table with Kentucky. They finished the regular season with a whimper, just won 3-0 over their final four matches, scored just four goals in that stretch. It was October 19th. Heading into that Coastal Carolina match, they had a chance to play for first. Good ball over the top, and a great save made by Statham. A quick shot fired on net by Justin McLean, the freshman out of Atlanta, over down the left alley. Schroeder with it near side, tries to send it forward to Arocha, and that was over his head. Mario Arocha, the fifth year senior out of Madrid, Spain. A great opportunity early off the boots of Justin McLean, who has three goals to his credit this season, nearly had a fourth if it weren't for the acrobatics of Michael Statham early. Jumo tries to lob one forward as well. Again, starting to see more of these long probing balls forward, trying to soften up this rigid ODU back line. Neither team able to settle on it at the moment. ODU heads it away. Now the Monarchs will promptly sit on it. Alan Dawson, Old Dominion's head coach in his 26th season. His team putting 
The D in ODU in terms of defense. Second in the Sun Belt Conference in clean sheets this year. Statham and their five across the back have been stout all year long. Jumo was looking for the call, won't get it from Tattersall and company. Jones with it. Jones, the native of Wales, had it for a moment, gave it up to Munoz. Munoz, an all Sunbelt Conference pick back in 2020. Losing ground now are the Panthers. Schroeder. All three of Schroeder's goals this year have come in Sunbelt play. Muscled off the ball was Wilkins. Monarchs able to take it away. Now a foot race here, looking for Thomas. And a great piece of defending there from Evan Schroeder, the freshman. It does concede a throw in to ODU. Misa Roli with it now. Excluding the year Georgia State left the Sun Belt Conference very briefly, they have finished top three now in every table since 2014, including this year. Panthers picked to finish seventh in the preseason poll, and they have had quite the campaign, just a point off of Marshall, who finished second with 15 points. Whiffing on that pass was Fabian Reeser. Gives Georgia State another opportunity. They lob it over the top, I should say, looking for McLean, a straightaway save made by Statham. 15th in the country in total saves is Michael Statham. Already with two early. They try the give and go there between Mapa and Thomas through the middle. Panthers trying to turn this into a counterattack opportunity. Moving forward with bags of pace now is Georgia State. Good ball to the right side, able to change the angle of attack. Jomo. Cerulli, the transfer out of Gardner Webb, will get tagged for that foul. A quick whistle from Eric Tattersall. Hanging toward that back post, headed away by ODU. A short header, can't clear the lines. Now the cross comes in. No one on the receiving end for Georgia State, and ODU can breathe a sigh of relief. Dangerous territory that was in. Great awareness by Thomas, able to stay on his feet, takes the bump, now going one on four white shirts. His shot blocked away. Monarchs will have the throw. A solid individual effort from the 5'7 freshman Liam Thomas was giving up some height there on that 1v4. And also did not have the numbers advantage. Christensen over hits that one looking for Mapa on the near side and that sails out. Panthers will take over.
Hilton Jones with it now. Goals against Old Dominion and Marshall for Hilton Jones, the senior out of Bruton, England. Rings will stay right here. Panthers will toss it in on the far side. That clearance deflected off the back of a Panther. Could have been a dangerous play there if Georgia State knew where it was rolling. Mentioned it earlier, this Georgia State offense can be quick strike at times, 18th in the country, and total goals scored. 11 different occasions these Panthers have scored two or more goals in a match as Miseroli went down. Options ahead for Mapa plays it back to Reeser. Monarch surveying their options. It's Mandir that has it now. Sophomore out of New Zealand. Mapa curls one to the far corner of the box. And instead, it finds the end line for a goal kick from Gunther Rankenberg. Jumo has it, now volleys it over to Finney. Finney, the senior out of Scotland. An all-conference pick. In the Sun Belt back in 2019. It was an all-region selection back in 2021. Here's Orocha with it. Has some options ahead. Good ball played forward. Panthers knocking on the doorstep, curling around. Initial shot blocked. Carlson was bumped off initially, and that shot goes sailing over the bar. Thought Carlson had a surefire opportunity but just wasn't able to get a shot off. A look at it here, the initial shot blocked. Carlson just couldn't get to it, and that's what Georgia State was yelling about. Statham came leaping out and made a swipe for the ball, and it looks like maybe inadvertently hit the cleat or the boot of Simon Carlson, the junior out of Georgia. Still nil-nil, but an early opportunity for Georgia State. Panthers already back on it now. And they will have the throw in right near the midfield stripe on that far side. 
Munoz will toss it in. 35th straight start since 2021 for Munoz. Elton Jones has his hands full at the moment. Was pressured there from behind by Thomas. They'll roll it over to Rankenberg. Elsewhere around the Sun Belt Conference, South Carolina has gone up a goal at the Wendell and Vicki Bell Complex in Lexington over hosts Kentucky, the number two team in the nation and the number one seed in this Sun Belt Tournament. Wouldn't that be something if that result sticks as well? Good challenge applied there by Misa Roli, the Gardner-Webb transfer. It's all for naught, though. Monarchs turn it right back over. Old Dominion starting to push more bodies back. They had shown some early aggressiveness by sending some forward, trying to force Georgia State into a turnover, but now all five of those backs are really parking themselves along the back row and not going many places. The speed of Georgia State early is bothering Old Dominion. We've already seen a couple of early opportunities only made possible by how quick these Panthers are. Meanwhile, that header was supposed to go to Reeser, and it was out of his reach. Rolls past the touchline, and now a throw for Georgia State in a very good area. Wilkins, long throw in, was looking for Arocha inside the box, who went down. Ball still live, batted away by Statham again. Once again, denying Justin McLean. Arocha tried to strike it off the volley and sent it well wide of goal. Statham will have a goal kick and lays into his back line for a moment. A look here at the save from Statham, a reflex save, diving across the goal mouth. Tristan Jenkins has come on in place of Liam Thomas. First change made. Jenkins, five goals, two assists, has two match winners this year. Throw coming from the Panthers. Jenkins, the leading scorer for this Old Dominion team. Goal scoring isn't necessarily what they do well. They have to find a way to finish their chances. They boast the conference's sixth best goal differential. However, they've been kept out of goal seven times. They enter this tournament having scored the second fewest goals of any Sun Belt team this year. Monarchs building something and now getting the benefit of a whistle from Eric Tattersall as the attacker went down. Old Dominion and Lewis Beckett, the freshman out of Bridlington, England, will have this free kick in a promising position. You see he and Christensen chatting it over for a second about how they want to play this. The 
angle on it isn't terrible. Relatively, it's more shaded to the right, but still in a decent spot. Well within striking distance. Beckett will chip it in. Inside the box, headed away by Georgia State. Defender could have easily flubbed his lines there and did not. Now curling in, and they beat Rankenberg early. A probing ball curled to the back post, and Old Dominion heads one past Gunther Rankenberg for the early 1-0 lead. This is a beautiful ball played in by Mandir right on to the head of Fabian Reeser, the freshman out of Austria who does the rest and beats Gunther Rankenberg. At the restart, a 1-0 lead for the sixth seed. Old Dominion on top of Georgia State. Ball takes an odd carom off the head of a Panther. Rocha tried to win it back and ended up banking it off the head of Wilkins and into the gloves it went of Statham. Panthers with seven shots, three on goal, but Michael Statham has made three big saves to keep his team in it. Now the offense comes to life, a one nil lead Thanks to Fabian Reeser's header. Able to catch that on the back heel. There was Tristan Jenkins. Jenkins slicing in. So shifty and crafty inside the 18. Finally has it taken away. A Rocha tripped up, and the foul will be given. Free kick upcoming for Georgia State. An opportunity here to equalize for the Panthers. That cross blocked out and cleared away from any danger by the center back. Mar Christensen smart to just clear that away. Could have been a very dangerous opportunity. Great run from Carlson down the far side. And just like that, Georgia State equalizes. The lead short-lived for Old Dominion. Max Wilkins finds goal number seven of the year. Just a slight chip in and a quick flick with the right boot past Statham. Statham was moving to his left and had Wilkins on his right. Wilkins, who came into this tournament eighth in the Sun Belt in goals this season, adds another. Checking in for Georgia State, number 14, Brian Silva, number 23, Carlos Luna. Brian Silva, Carlos Luna on for the Panthers, who in the blink of an eye pull even at the restart, one apiece. You knew it was coming. Georgia State already had three good opportunities early on frame, and it's hard to keep one of the highest scoring teams in the nation off the board. 27th in the country are the Panthers in scoring offense. And now here's Luna. First time not in the starting 11 since October 7th for Carlos Luna.
Now send another long ball forward. Panthers trying to settle up underneath it. Luna has the beat on the defender, deflects it off of Beckett. It will be a Panther throw. Goals just about a minute and 55 seconds apart. As Statham will come out off the hop and grab that to end the danger. First Old Dominion strikes, then Georgia State pulls equal. We have played a half hour already, and it's been an action-packed 30 minutes so far. 11 combined shots and now two combined goals. More changes set to be made by the Panthers as Williams in the substitution area. Statham had a good break on it. Would have been a 1v keeper opportunity for Justin McLean, whose speed, scratch that, would have been Silva, but his speed, both McLean and Silva, and really this entire front line of Georgia State has been bothering this Old Dominion back five. This Georgia State team makes it count in postseason play. They've advanced at least one round in every conference tournament they've participated in since 2016. Finished as MAC runners up last year after losing to NIU. They are 7 4 and 4 all time at the Sun Belt Tournament, where they were 2018 champions, earning the automatic qualifier to the NCAA tournament. Jones thought he had a player down the right side, had in fact nobody, and that will bring a stoppage just enough for Georgia State to make two more changes. Checking in for the Panthers. Thomas Panthers. Williams will come on the transfer from Coastal Bend College. Also Matthew Fernley, the graduate student out of Ashton in Makerfield, England. McLean will trot off. He's turned in a solid shift. Now here's Finney. Left off to Luna. Luna a season high 80 minutes earlier this year against James Madison. Back to Hilton Jones. Schroeder over the top finds Luna who tracks that down. Side steps a defender. Now crashing in, went sliding in, and collided with an Old Dominion player who is down in a heap. Now look at it here. That was Joshua Fox, the freshman defender. Luna tried to slide to keep it alive and just kept sliding until he made contact with the shin of Fox.
Teams trading headers before Georgia State finally settles on it. Jack Hilton Jones, a senior out of England, has started 10 straight, dating all the way back to September 27th. Become a fixture on that back row for Georgia State and head coach Brett Surrency. Meanwhile, there was a yellow card that was issued. Luna shown yellow in the 34th minute. An opportunity, perhaps, for Georgia State. Low ground cross, deflected away, intercepted by Fernley. Back to Luna, who wants to cross again. This time, cross intercepted and guided back out. Panthers trying to keep this possession alive, run this ODU defense ragged. Wanted to fire a cross in, missed everything, and sent it out of the facilities. That will be a goal kick for Michael Statham. Gavin Williams, another freshman on this roster, will check in. Out comes Simon Carlson. Brett Surrency early, not afraid to use Plenty of subs and roll through the changes. It's all about strategy and various coaching philosophies. We saw Marshall in our first game of the day. Only made one change and it happened very late in the contest. Deflected off of Silva, Monarchs have won the throw. Cerulli with it, guides it forward, finds Schmalbach. Schmalbach flanked with a player to his left. It's Jan Mappa. Great sliding challenge, but an even better attack coming from Mappa. The cross headed off the bar and stays out. Went straight off the crossbar and down. Somehow stayed out of goal. Old Dominion were that close to taking a 2-1 lead. Now off the clearance, a whistle and a free kick given by Eric Tattersall. Well, it's a beautiful ball crossed in that close. If it was about an inch lower, who knows what direction it could have taken. A flurry of first half opportunities for both these teams. 12 combined shots. And now perhaps another here for Georgia State. Statham goes down and the Panthers take the lead. Gavin Williams, his second of the year. Gavin Williams came on as a sub just minutes ago. Right place, right time for the young freshman. Great pressure applied initially by Luna. Statham fumbles it, and Williams there to do the rest. A 37th minute goal for Georgia State, who have now scored twice since conceding first. The Panthers find themselves on top. Panthers back on the prowl now, looking to add more to their total. Had it 
intercepted though, and it will be an Old Dominion throw on the far side. Now the 12th time this year, Georgia State has scored two or more goals in a match and they want more. It's Munoz with it on the far side, goes down to the turf and a whistle and a foul given. Fabian Reeser, the goal scorer for Old Dominion getting whistled for that foul. A good run there from Munoz to win the free kick. Ball lobbed forward, petted past Statham, right on to the head of Jack Hilton Jones for the free header. It is all Panthers in this first half, 3-1. An incredible ball off the set piece. Ross Finney places it well right into the middle. And Jack Hilton Jones for the third time this season finds the back of the net. Just got behind the ODU back line, which has been such a strength this season for the Monarchs. This Georgia State attack giving them fits in this first half. For the first time in his career, Michael Statham has given up three goals in back-to-back -back matches at the restart. A 3-1 advantage for the Panthers. Williams gets tangled up with Miseroli, the native of Italy, who went down initially, now is up. Monarchs have the free kick. Mentioned earlier the postseason success and the history of postseason play for Georgia State. Well, for Old Dominion, they have a storied history in their own right. However, they've fallen on hard times. Now a whistle comes in, and Misa Roli, a return foul there on Gavin Williams, and Misa Roli will be shown yellow. But for Old Dominion, they have a storied history in their own right. However, they've fallen on some hard times recently as we see the foul there against Williams from Miseroli. This is ODU's first trip to postseason play for the first time since the 2018 Conference USA Tournament. That year they advanced all the way to the semifinals where they lost to Charlotte. Now here's Williams again putting pressure. And this time it's Owen Ruddy who clears it away. Panthers will have the throw. Nice move there by Brian Silva, able to turn and guide it away. Trevor Ferguson was in the area, and now the Panthers cough it right back up. This has been the longest consecutive stretch without postseason play in the Allen Dawson era. This is a Monarch team that in years past has been habitually ranked competing for conference crowns, winning conference crowns, trying to get back to where they used to be. I was back both during their CAA days and their days in Conference USA. Made a good push for it this year, but 
as mentioned, just struggled down the stretch. And now another whistle and a hard foul as Mapa whistled for it on the near side. Fernley was the man who was impeded. Miseroli intercepts. Miseroli carrying a yellow card. Picked it up just moments ago. forward again, that time by Hilton Jones. <laughs> Old Dominion struck in the 26th minute, but then after that, it was Georgia State in the 28th, the 37th, and the 39th minutes consecutively. And that is where we are at now as we head toward the halftime mark here in Huntington, West Virginia. This is the final of two games today. The winner of this awaits James Madison in Wednesday night's semifinal here at Hoops Family Field. Jenkins now with it out left, trying to add width to the attack. First trying to shake free of one defender, now a second. Can't do either. Goal kick up coming for Rankenberg. Shot sent in, parried away there by Rankenberg. And it clatters past the end line. Monarchs will have a corner kick. The match's first corner for either side coming up. A quick look at it. Good stop there, Redwell by Rankenberg. Monarchs will send this in from the far flag. Last time they were on these grounds, they scored on two corner kicks. Nothing doing that time. Lines cleared successfully by Georgia State and a strong clearance at that all the way back down the pitch to Statham. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Georgia State, three straight goals after going down. They lead it through 45 minutes, 3-1 over the six-seeded Old Dominion Monarch. Panther sideline, still 45 minutes to play. But having a two-goal advantage against a team in Old Dominion who has scored the second fewest goals of any Sun Belt team this year surely bodes well for your chances to move through to the next round.
And now we're officially back underway for the start of the second half here in Huntington. Monarchs looking for an early answer here. It's Beckett who sends a shot on goal and a leaping stop made by Rankenberg. His second stop of the night for the senior out of Marietta, Georgia. A 7.38 save percentage this season. A look at it again. Well read there by Rankenberg. Now Monarchs with another takeaway in the midfield. ODU coming out of the halftime locker room with some renewed energy and life as Aaron Deans came up with the takeaway. Statham waves players forward. Now volleys one ahead, was looking for Deans. Aaron Deans, the native of Virginia Beach, Virginia. And it started 14 of the last 15 appearances he'd made. Header sails out. Rankenberg will have the goal kick. That ball hangs in the air off the boot from Statham. Trying to take a stab forward with it was Mandir, former Napier City U18 player back in New Zealand. A poor clearance there from Fabian Reeser, who had it taken away from his possession by Arachoa. Panthers shot initially blocked, and now Old Dominion an opportunity to break out for a counterattack. It was Eberly who carried it forward. Now that ball caroms all the way back to the far side of the pitch. Long ball forward, Eberly in the area. Shot screaming toward goal off the volley, Mark Christensen. Hit it wide of goal. Mark Christensen making his 14th appearance of the season. Look at this shot right here. If he would have placed that just a little lower, would have forced a potentially great stop from Rankenberg. Trading possession around. Now Jonas Schmolbach, four goals, three assists this season for the transfer out of Central Florida. Has it, gives it up to Mandir. Low line drive cross, intercepted, but a short clearance as the defender slid and tripped. Doesn't matter too much. Georgia State able to break out. Has McLean on the overlap, did Carlson.
Ball goes all the way back to Rankenberg. No choice but to boot it away. Mandir moving forward. Options going ahead here for Old Dominion. Several Navy and sort of baby blue striped shirts serviced into the box. Intercepted by Mandir, now taken away. Misa Roli able to win it back for ODU. Misa Roli's been all over the pitch this evening defensively. Trying to keep his Monarchs in this. Well hit ball, just took an odd hop over the head of Tristan Jenkins who misread it. Out for a Panther throw in. As that first half progressed, the Monarchs decided to send more bodies back defensively. Now no choice but to only leave two back and send as many numbers forward as they can. Cannot risk offense for defense at this moment. Have to find a way to at least peg one back to get back on the board. Misa Roli tangled up there with Wilkins in the midfield. Ball played forward, Monarchs progressing nicely toward the 18, and it's disrupted by Georgia State's defense. Lewis Beckett had it. Beckett, a product of Hull City Academy, actually made two appearances in the FA Youth Cup several years ago for Hall City U21s. Nearly forcing the defender and Jones into a turnover there. Long stretch ball forward finds McLean, who pokes it out. Monarchs will quickly take the throw. Deans chucks it in. Ball takes a carom right to the feet of Wilkins. He has one tonight. Unable to do anything with it, and it forces Statham to just fire it high in the sky. Monarchs will attack from the left alley on the far side, changing the angle of the attack. Counter-attack opportunity developing quickly here for ODU. Low line drive shot stopped there on the far post by Rankenberg. He was hugging that far pipe and read it well. Mentioned earlier in our broadcast, this is the 12th all-time meeting. ODU with a stranglehold on the series, 9-2-0. However, Georgia State lately has been able to get back in this series. They've won two of the last four matchups. Silva and Thomas Williams both set to check in in the substitution area for Georgia State, who have been liberal with the changes throughout this match, not afraid to go deep into their bench as Brett Serency in his 13th season as the gaffer of this Georgia State men's soccer team. This is just the second neutral site contest for Georgia State since the start of 2021. They played West Virginia in DeKalb, Illinois last year in the MAC tournament. Won that match 1-0 back in November of 2021. You always have to not worry, but take into account or keep in mind perhaps jitters when it comes to things like that. I look there at the foul, left side of your screen. This is how Deans was able to draw the free kick. Good ball, hanging in the air. Still live inside the 18, off the volley. Initial shot blocked. Mandir able to come out of a crowd with it. 
Beckett will reset the offense. Deeds waits one down toward the box again and getting a piece of it with the head that looked to be, I believe that was Christensen. Nonetheless, Rankenberg read it well. All the way back down the pitch, here's McLean. Tangled up with Deans in, near, in the near corner. A chance here for Georgia State as Carlson has it tight on the end line. The signal from Eric Tattersall is goal kick. Much to the chagrin of Simon Carlson, the junior out of Kennesaw, Georgia. However, it does give Georgia State a chance to make two changes. The aforementioned Silva and Thomas Williams will sub in. Off comes Wilkins and Arocha. Rankenberg quickly up to four saves now. This year, he's made five or more saves six times. And a good job Rankenberg has of helping keep Georgia State in many games. Monarch still on the attack now, starting to turn the screws offensively as that shot goes sailing past goal. A look again at the shot, just had a go of it there. The right idea, couldn't place it on goal. Marley Stevenson, the senior out of Sarasota, Florida, set to come in in the substitution area for Georgia State. Georgia State, number 17, Marley Stevenson. Off comes Tristan Jumo, a native of Lancashire, England. Great ball played through, looking for Silva, able to keep it in. Here's Carlson, left off for Stevenson now. Panthers operating from that far side. Trying to switch things up offensively here in this second half. Back over the top, Panthers. Another opportunity, the cross comes in and just couldn't hit it well. A beautiful service onto the boots of Thomas Williams, but he spiked it with the bottom of the boot and couldn't put it past Michael Statham. That close the Panthers were to adding to their advantage. Ball carries back to Hilton Jones. Now Hilton Jones will carry it forward. Takes the slight bump and will play it ahead to Brian Silva. Silva. Strong cut back. Now we'll dish it out to the outside, or at least tried to. Dean's intercepted initially. McLean with it now on the edge of the box. Fires a shot, and it's wide. Here's the opportunity on the doorstep for Thomas Williams. And you can see his reaction. Just can't believe he couldn't strike it. Not the best of first touches. Schmalbach with it now. We'll play it through the middle to Beckett. An opportunity here for Old Dominion. Good counterattack developing. Played into the middle, and Mandir couldn't do anything with it. Had Hilton Jones in his hip pocket. 
Into the gloves of Rankenberg to officially end the dangerous opportunity for Old Dominion. Strong interception off the drop kick for ODU. That's the name of the game, and they've proven to be one of the better teams at doing that this year. Great field instincts. Now a shot toward goal wide from the far side. Gavin Williams set to come back in for Georgia State, one of their three goal scorers in the opening 45 minutes. This Monarch attack, though, starting to find its footing. Now look here at this shot hit wide. Looked like that was Joshua Fox. No, my apologies, Michael Eberly. that was. Kentucky has equalized in Lexington. 1-1 in the second half between they and the eight-seeded South Carolina Gamecocks. Checking on for the Panthers, number 12, Gavin Williams. Sometimes better late than never. Kentucky finds its equalizer after going down a goal in the first half. Williams will watch that sail over his head and out for a Monarch throw in. Aerial duel on the far side, won by Old Dominion and promptly turned over at the midfield stripe. Quick give and go, now a foot race. Carlson, can he win this? He will not. Monarchs able to catch up to it first. It was Mark Christensen, native of Reykjavik, Iceland, who got to it first, but Georgia State on it now. Chipped past one defender. And the second cross blocked out. It will be a corner kick for Georgia State, their first of this match. Wind has died down significantly here at Hoops Family Field in Huntington. That not a factor on this corner kick coming from the far flag. Panthers trying to add to their lead. Out swinging ball. Williams was there first to meet it with the head. Monarchs able to successfully clear the lines again and win a throw in. Quickly taken near side. Looking for Jenkins. Good job defensively by Munoz. Able to use body positioning. It's one back off an interception, though. And the shot volleyed into the gloves from Eberly of Rankenburg. Surrency having words with Andrew Milby, the fourth official in the substitution area. Very displeased was Brett Surrency about what he perceived to be a no call or a missed call. Monarchs back on it now, really asking questions of this Panther defense in this second half. Deans tried to move forward with it, ran out of space, felt the pressure coming from Gavin Williams. This match as a whole, but really this infancy of this second half, been real end-to-end -end stuff. Both of these teams just going for it in this second half. Mapa joins the rush far side. Marked by Silva, tries to cross it in and can only muster a ball fired high into the air. It was deflected off of Silva, so another corner conceded. We talked about this at the half. Old Dominion, their bread and butter is trying to get set piece opportunities and scoring off of them. They scored off of two corners when they played Marshall here at Hoops Family Field earlier this season. Oh, 
Just a senseless foul committed by Fabian Reeser, taking Jones down to the turf. And that will concede the free kick and give up the possession from Old Dominion. Look at it again there in the middle of your screen. Beckett, great ball played forward to Jenkins, who caught it on the right foot, but couldn't sidestep Schroeder. And Rankenberg comes out again to scoop it up. Rankenberg does so much more than just make saves. He's great at that, but he's such a field general back there. Can use his feet well. Calling out shots constantly from inside. That goal mouth on his line. Just a poor pass laterally back across the middle. A whistle comes in as Beckett went down after the interception. Monarchs will go all the way around the horn. Now back to the top. It was Beckett who had it in the middle. No options going forward for him. Now they do find one ahead. It's Eberly slicing through the middle, coughs it up. Gavin Williams will settle on it and turn the Jets on. Schmalbach tries to cross it forward, has that blocked. Both teams will make a change on Checking in for Old Dominion, number seven, Liam Thomas. Checking trots in Liam Thomas for ODU. Matthew Fernley on the pitch now for Georgia State. Eight fouls committed tonight by Old Dominion. Five by Georgia State. This is a Monarch team that ranks third in the Sun Belt this season. And fewest fouls committed. They play a relatively clean game. Deans just puts everything behind that. Not sure he meant to do that. Six different subs have come on in this match for Georgia State. Compare that to just three for Old Dominion. That's what we mentioned earlier in this second half. Monarchs, or excuse me, Panthers, I should say, content to be a little bit more liberal with the changes. And that has resulted in fresher legs at times for Georgia State. Throw coming from the substitution area. Schroeder will toss it in, make that Munoz. Munoz, the senior out of Ackworth, Georgia. Finds Fernley. Christensen sends one forward. Jenkins couldn't run it out. And a throw given to the Panthers on that far side. Mark's back on it now. Lobbed into the middle, just away from Jenkins, who was crashing in. Make that Eberly. Then the secondary shot comes screeching forward as well. Deflected off of a Panther, out for another Monarch corner kick. That South Carolina-Kentucky match still 1-1. It was a 59th minute goal from Itor Bjorgolfsson able to equalize against the Gamecocks. Yeah. 
Mandir boots it, and it's headed right into the gloves of Gunther Rankenberg. Another free header for the Monarchs on a set piece. That time Rankenberg was ready for it. Another long ball lobbed over the top. This time for Jenkins on that far alley. Again, Jenkins can't get to it. 29 fixtures have been, are currently being played or will be played around the country today. Relatively light 7 p.m. time slot. Charlotte and South Florida doing battle out in the American Conference. Coastal Carolina falling to West Virginia. Marshall falling to James Madison in the first two matches of this Sun Belt Conference tournament. Should this result hold, it would be Georgia State through to the semifinal round to face the Dukes. Williams very nearly had a free streak toward goal and was just muscled off of it by Deans. Ended up being a smart play by Deans. He wins the throw in for the Monarchs. Brett Surrency there in his 13th year. Pleased with this team's first half performance, but has been less than enthused. By the way, things have gone in this second half. Good ball to the outside. They find Thomas, or trying to find Thomas, but it's out for a Panther throw. Another change set to be made by Georgia State. Meanwhile, the Monarchs trying to capitalize off a takeaway in a good spot. They're going to win it back in the attacking third. Left off for Mapa. Jan Mapa. Nowhere to go with it. Back to Miseroli. Finds Mapa again. Mapa through a crowd. Composed. Good footwork, finds Deans. Now Deans to Thomas, curling in. Just missing goal on that drive toward the cage. A goal kick upcoming for Georgia State. Jenkins had it on his boots, tight on the end line. And nothing doing for, for Old Dominion. He was able to sneak in behind the back line Wilkins will come back in for Georgia State as off trots Williams. Panthers losing ground now. They'll play it back through the middle to Finney. That is where Ross Finney will settle on it. Meanwhile, elsewhere around the country, the nation's number 12 team, Tulsa, nodded up 1-1 with unranked Memphis late in the second half. Statham came off his line. Oh, this could be dangerous. Good recovery by the ODU back five. Little give and go on the overlap to Williams. Takes the bump from Deans, and it's out for a Panther throw. Another change will be made. Mario Arrocha, the fifth-year senior out of Spain, 
Checking in for the Panthers, number 20, Mario Arrocha. Made his eighth start of the season tonight, his third consecutive. Gavin Williams scored earlier in this match. Very soccer-centric family. Both his mom and dad played college soccer as Williams goes clattering to the turf. It was Liam Thomas, the freshman out of London, England, who made strong contact. Now another yellow will come out. Tattersall shows yellow. It looked to be to Samuel Mark Christensen. So there's Thomas, there to the left side of your screen in the seven shirt, muscling Williams down. But then in that melee after, someone must have said something to Eric Tattersall, and I believe it was Mark Christensen that yellow was shown to. It'd be the third monarch shown yellow, if so. Nonetheless, free kick coming, batted away there with the hands of Statham. Out on the opposite side for a Monarch throw in. And now Clay Dawes, the graduate senior from Naperville, Illinois, will trot on. It's so good to see Dawes back on the pitch. He's played all 90 minutes seven times this year. Dawes hampered by injuries last year and in 2019. Had to take a medical red shirt in one season. Monarchs flub their lines on the clearance initially. Now they break out with the ball. Good defending there from Gavin Williams now on the far side. Williams has been everywhere tonight, the young freshman. Thomas wanted to chip it forward, instead played it to the back heel of Jones. Shot count even, both total shots and shots on goal. 14 apiece in shots, six apiece in shots on frame. Monarchs have played eyeballs out in this second half, just nothing to show for it. A quick whistle and a foul given. A shot comes in, goes wide of goal again. Mark Christensen loaded up but couldn't place it on frame. And that has been the story of the night for ODU. What looked to be a promising start offensively for these Monarchs after striking first in the 26th minute. Since then have not been able to find much of anything. The in-game adjustments made by these Panthers have been impressive, to say the least. A Monarch is down now. That looks to be Misa Roli slow to get up. Officials let them play on, though. Old Dominion with possession. Oh, well-timed sliding challenge. Monarchs, though, able to withstand it. Jenkins. Weaving forward, trying to do something with it for ODU. Thomas, the cross, had a man in the middle and just missed him. Thomas, again, this time far corner of the box on the doorstep, no one there to poke it home. The ODU coaching staff incensed at the fact no one was there to finish. Checked in for Georgia State, number seven, Simon Carlson. Carlson will come back on the pitch for Georgia State. Meanwhile, 
the injured Monarch is being attended to. That is Nicola Miseroli. He and Fernley just getting tangled up in that aerial duel. And immediately, Miseroli went down. With this break in play, let's take a chance to look at our Hercules Tires move of the match. And it goes to the Old Dominion Monarchs for a beautiful ball and an even better finish. Fabian Reeser gets the strong move of the match presented by Hercules Tires. That was a great ball from Mandir right on to the head of Fabian Reeser who did the rest. However, since that goal, it has been all Georgia State. Miseroli up and walking off under his own power, albeit gingerly. Monarchs will bring in Lewis Beckett to replace the ailing Miseroli, who goes off with what looks to be a little bit more significant than a knock. Another update from the Wendell and Vicki Bell Soccer Complex in Lexington. The Wildcats have woken up in the second half. Another goal. They're heating up. This time it's Damn G scoring off the assist from Ginnick. Monarchs will have the free kick, but in Lexington, a 2-1 lead now for Kentucky over South Carolina. Looking like they will move through to the semifinal round. Monarchs with the throw, ball live inside the 18 and finally cleared away from any potential danger as this clock continues to drain. Out comes Rankenberg to make the quick grab on the move and end any possible extra danger that could come with it. Deans lobs one ahead. Again, the Monarchs underneath it, but nothing doing with it, at least at the moment. Jenkins able to chase that down and just has his pocket picked by Stevenson. Panthers breaking out on a counterattack, and at the last minute, Carlson will pull up. Munoz, the toss, a Panther goes down. And the official Tattersall just says play on.
Whistle comes in from Tattersall, a handball whistled for, and that will bring about the ODU chance to an end. It appears as though this result will hold, which means the Panthers will improve to eight, four, and four all time at the Sun Belt Conference. A look here at the handball right there in the middle of your screen just takes a hop and grazes the hand of Mark Christensen. We well, said it in that first half, these Panthers could pounce on you quickly, full pun intended. Three goals, just a handful of minutes apart, all consecutively. Advantage played now from Tattersall to the Panthers. Thomas intercepts the header clearance. Eberly looking for Mark Christensen. Now Jenkins stopped. A great save by Rankenberg. His sixth of the match. Seventh time this year Rankenberg has made five or more stops. And they've needed it in this, they've needed it, I should say, in this second half. Gavin Williams comes up with it, leaves it off for Jones. Now through the middle to Carlson. Seven goals, four assists this year for Carlson, a Sunbelt first team selection. The only player for Georgia State tabbed to the Sunbelt postseason teams. Here's Gavin Williams again. Nifty ball work, able to cut in. Right on the doorstep, banks it off the glove, but no, the flag is up for offside. Max Wilkins looked set to complete the brace, but the flag was up for offside. Still 3-1 Georgia State. Here's the look at the would-be goal for Georgia State. Here's Williams, the shot deflected right to the boots of Max Wilkins. But the officials say Wilkins in an offside position. Crashing the keeper, ball sailing in, and under duress but making the grab, Gunther Rankenberg again. Make it seven stops tonight for the senior keeper, Gunther Rankenberg. This Georgia State attack has played well, but by all means, Gunther Rankenberg has played out of his mind. Rankenberg made a season-high eight stops earlier this year against South Carolina, closing in on that number now with seven. These Monarchs have not been able to solve him since that free header goal in the 26th minute. Georgia State in the latest RPI rankings, 45.
as they'll have another corner kick up coming, just their second of this match. And now Tattersall will motion for a stoppage. Thomas wanted to cross, had it intercepted, or excuse me, I should say blocked out there by Marley Stevenson. Speaking of those RPI rankings, Georgia State 45th. You want to talk about how impressive the Sun Belt Conference is in men's soccer. Eight of their nine teams inside the RPI top 100. Inside the RPI top 90 even. If you want to get down to brass tacks, this is a strong, Men's Soccer League, top to bottom. A strong women's soccer league as well. Newcomers Old Dominion. And their head coach Angie Hind winning their first ever Sun Belt Conference title earlier this afternoon. Eric Tattersall will sort through some extracurriculars as we get set for an Old Dominion free kick. A lot of moving and shaking and muscling around down there. Ball pops out. Shot blocked away. Strong clearance by Georgia State. And that ball goes sailing wide of goal on the shot attempt. Just summing up the night for Old Dominion. Look here at the scoring summary. We mentioned it during the half, a 26th minute goal by Fabian Reeser, but then in the 28th, 37th, and 39th minutes. Three goals in 11 minutes for Georgia State. That has been the difference so far. And it looks as though it will hold up. Shot, sent wide of goal. That will be the 20, or excuse me, the 17th shot of the night for Georgia State. Monarchs with 20 of them as we approach 60 minutes until full time. The Panthers will face James Madison in Wednesday night's semifinal round here at Hoops Family Field. A chance to move on to the championship round and face the winner of WVU and the winner of Kentucky, South Carolina, which right now the Wildcats up 2-1 in that match. Rankenberg will come out and end that chance for Old Dominion, and that will just about put the icing on the cake for Georgia State. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Full time in Huntington. Three first half goals in an 11 minute span. The difference for the Georgia State Panthers and their head coach, Brett Surrency. For the sixth consecutive season, the Panthers have moved on to the semifinal round of a conference tournament. They will play James Madison on Wednesday to determine who goes to the 